Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on determining the total frequency from a histogram given one frequency. Let's look at the question here. There are 40 plants with a height between 50 and 60 centimetres. Determine the total number of plants represented by the data. Now I'm going to presume you already have some knowledge of histograms and what histograms mean, but remember histograms are good for representing concentration. So in this particular case, the number of plants we have per centimetre of height. And remember some key formulae, that the frequency density, the number of plants per centimetre of height, is the frequency divided by class width. We'll use this formula in a second. And the other key formula was that the area of a bar represents the frequency of that interval. So those are your two key formulae. So the problem is, is we don't know what this frequency density axis is, but we can use this information at the top here to work out what the scale is. There's 40 plants with a height between 50 and 60 centimetres, so the frequency density, or FD for short, is the frequency, well there's 40 plants, that's a frequency of 40, divided by the class width. The class width is the width of the interval. Now we've got plants between 50 and 60 centimetres, that's a width of 10, so we do 40 divided by 10, which is 4. So that means the 50 to 60 bar, 50 to 60 bars here, we know the frequency density, so the top of that bar will be a frequency density of 4. So we put the 4 there, and we can see therefore the scale, if it's going up evenly, it's going to be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, etc. Now, we want to know the total number of plants represented by the data. Now, if the area of a bar is equal to the frequency bar, then the total frequency will be the total area of the bars. So total area is equal to total frequency. So the total frequency will be the total area. Let's just work out the area of each bar. We already know that the area of this bar is 40 plants because, look, 10, that's a width of 10, times 4 is 40 plants. We already knew that from earlier. What about the other bars? Well, let's look at this bar. The width of the bar is 5, because let's 60 to 65 there. That's a width of 5. And the height of the bar is, we can see, 8. So that's 5 times 8, which is an area and hence a frequency of 40. So that represents 40 plants. And then this last bar here, that's a width of 15, because look, we've got 65 to 80, that's a width of 15. And what's the height? The height is 6. So we just do 15 times 6, which is 90. So this bar therefore represents 90 plants. And if we add those together, we got 40 plus another 40 here, plus 90 plants here. That represents 170 plants in total.